Hello guys and welcome back to the FE exam review series where I cover the most common FE problems that you need to know to pass your FE exam. In today's video, we'll be covering heat transfer section problem, specifically under part A, conduction. So let's dive in. Now, before we get started, I have an announcement for those of you guys who are taking FE Mechanical. So we just launched part of the Mechanical Afternoon course. So if you're interested, make sure to check it out at jennyprep.com. And if you have any questions, you can leave them in the comment section below or you can email us at hello at jennyprep.com. Now let's take a look at the problem. So in a large storage facility, a vertical partition concrete wall divides two sections. We are giving the height, the width, the thickness, and the thermal conductivity of the concrete wall. And due to specialized temperature control in one section, one side of the partition wall is maintained at minus 15 degrees Celsius, while the other side is kept at a temperature of 20 degrees Celsius. And we want to determine the rate of heat loss to the wall. Now, when you guys get these type of problems, the first thing you got to ask yourself is what type of heat transfer do we have, okay? Is it through radiation? Is it through convection? Or is it through conduction, okay? So let's take a look at it together. So we have a concrete wall, okay? So we have a solid material. And then we also have a temperature gradient, okay? Which means we're going to have heat transfer through conduction, right? So the first thing you guys need to do is go to the reference manual and grab the equation for the rate of heat transfer through conduction. Now, the other thing to keep in mind is that when we have conduction, the temperature or the energy is always transferred from the higher temperature region to a lower temperature region, okay? So keep that in mind. So why don't you guys go ahead and pause this video, give it a try, make sure that you guys are solving these problems because that's how you can understand the concepts better and also remember them for your FE exam, okay? And then you can come back to check your solution. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. Now, if you guys are enjoying this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. It helps the channel out immensely. And also, if you haven't downloaded our cheat sheet yet, make sure that you guys do. You can find it here. And it has very important concepts and equations that you need to know for your FE exam. And for whatever reason, if you don't receive it in your email, make sure that you guys email us and we'll send it to you. So to solve for this problem, the first thing we got to do is go to the reference manual and take a look at the equation. So if we go to the heat transfer section, here we are giving the equation for the conduction to a plane wall. Now, as we discussed earlier, we do have heat transfer to conduction, but we also have a plane wall, right? So we have a concrete wall. So this is the equation that we're going to use. Now, also keep in mind, guys, that when we have conduction, heat energy is always transferred from the higher temperature region to a lower temperature region. That's going to be very important when we plug in the numbers for the temperature at 2 and temperature at 1. Now here we also have K, which is the thermal conductivity, which was given to us. We have the area, so we, we were giving the length and the width, we can easily determine the area. And then L is going to be the wall thickness. Now let's go ahead and plug in the numbers, so we're going to have minus K, so that's the thermal conductivity, which is 1.5. And I'm going to write the units. I always write the units, guys. It, it really does help because then at the end, you can always make sure that the units add up. And if it doesn't add up, that means you did something wrong, right? So then you can always go back and double check. It might take you a little bit more time on the FE if you write the units, but it could save you, right? If you, if you do a mistake, you can easily catch it, okay? Then we're going to multiply by the area. So we were giving the height and the width. So the area is just going to be 4 times 2.5. And this is going to have the unit of meters squared because we have meters times meters. And then we're going to multiply this by T2 minus T1. So remember, guys, we said that heat energy always transferred from high temperature region to lower temperature region. So the higher temperature region, so that's going to be T1 which is 20 degrees Celsius, and then T2 is going to be minus 15, okay? So here we're going to have minus 15 degrees Celsius, then minus, and then T1, which is 20, okay? 20 degrees Celsius. And then we're going to divide this whole thing by the thickness, which was giving us 30 centimeters. Now, the problem here is that this is in meters. This is also in meters. So we gotta make sure that we convert centimeters to meters, okay? This is why it's really important that you guys write the units down, okay? So we're gonna do 30 centimeters and then we're gonna divide this by 100 because to go from centimeters to meters, we just divide by 100. And so now this is gonna give us meters. 
Now let's go over the units. So here guys we have meters squared which is going to cancel with this meter. So we're going to be left with this meter and this meter is going to cancel with this meter. Okay. And we're going to be left with watts per Kelvin. And then here we have Celsius. Okay. Now here's something guys. This here is the same thing as if we have Kelvin. Let me explain what I mean by that. So when we have a temperature difference, okay, either it's in Celsius or Kelvin is the same thing. So on the FE exam, you guys don't need to convert this to Kelvin because it's just going to take you more time and the reason that is it's because so if we try to actually convert this to Kelvin so we're going to have minus 15 okay plus 273 then we're going to have minus and then 20 plus 273. Notes guys how the 273 cancels right we have 273 minus 273 and again that's because you know a temperature difference right so here we have minus 15 minus 20 so that gives us minus 35 either in Celsius or in Kelvin, it's the same thing. It's a temperature difference, okay? So technically this Celsius is the same thing as Kelvin, so the Kelvin cancels, okay? So just remember that. And remember, you can only do that when you have a temperature difference. Very important to remember that, guys. Now, we're going to be left with watts, but we want kilowatts. Now, to go from watts to kilowatts, we can divide by a thousand, okay? So we can take this whole term, okay, and then just divide it by a thousand. And if you guys do that, you're going to get 1.75 kilowatts. So now if we take a look at the multiple choice, the answer is going to be B. Now, if you guys enjoyed this video and you want more FE Mechanical problems, go ahead and comment below FE Mechanical. And also, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell so that you guys don't miss out on any future videos. And in the meantime, make sure that you guys check out our playlist that has a lot of FE problems that's going to help you with your FE preparation. We did post a couple thermodynamics problems and heat transfer, and I really hope it helps you guys with your FE preparation. Now, if you are currently studying for your FE exam and you are looking for some good study resources that will help you understand the material and pass your FE exam faster, make sure to check out our courses at jennyprep.com. Our courses have helped hundreds of students pass the FE exam. Now, thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a great productive week and I will see you guys on the next video. À la prochaine. Oh, yeah.